Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Josh Thomas here, and I got a little bit of a weird video for you, which I'm sure you creeps are gonna love. We are taking, I don't know what that meant. We're taking a look at Nintendo merchandise. Uh, for whatever reason, mostly uh, that I have nothing better to do with my time, I spent about an hour today looking through Nintendo merch, and I was like, you know what? This stuff's pretty cool. I'm gonna make a video of it and share it with all of you. Uh, also, by the way, I'm joined by everybody's favorite, Dan, are you there? Hello? It's me, Dan! It's, oh my I'm not saying hi to everybody, though. I'm only saying hi to Chip Chap Chop. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> only it. Only Chip Chap Chop. Um, who else we got? Abe, just Abe, just Chip. That's it. That, for just this Abe. one, just Abe and Chap. Okay. Well, would you like to look at some Nintendo merch with me here today? Let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start it off, I think, extremely strong with uh, a terrifying... Whoa! 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 <laughs> God! <laughs> This is, an, this is an officially licensed happened? product. Um, this is a Kirby fan that you put on your desk. It's battery operated, and it's also is nightmare it? fuel. Yeah. It's Are also sure? fueled by souls. <laughs> the first thing I love about this, other than the way that it looks, is um, there's nothing guarding children from sticking their fingers in that fan. Yeah. It's just open. So, so it would seem. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I actually really want this for my own desk. Another thing that's that's kind of wrong with it is Kirby sucks. Oh, well, he doesn't no, blow. That looks like it's that little. It's got like foam foam fins. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. probably not a very hard fan. Yeah. Um, but um, Kirby doesn't blow. Unlike he sucks. Chip chop chop and Abe. What? What? Very hard fans. <laughs> they are. All right, we're moving on to some Mario Kart merch. I'm in love with all this stuff. First up, we got these pillows that you can put on your couch or your bed those, or wherever. Yeah, those that's delightful. That little scene right there is really kicking it. Mm -hmm. I like the way it's got the, the gray checkered background to them. I really love the artwork. It's very clean. has a little bit of a retro vibe to it, mm -hmm. even though it is uh, themed after Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But uh, yeah, just really cool pillows. Moving on, we've also got some in the back there for other characters. We've got some little bowls, Dan. Yeah, that, you could put oh, your uh, that. you could put your Nippon noodles. Is that a Eat thing? Itadakimas, indeed. Look at that. <laughs> or your cereal or whatever. These do seem very Japanese inspired, so I'm guessing they meant they're meant for like noodles. Yeah, that would be the implication. Yes, and you got a little baby one, a medium one, and a papa sized one. This is amazing. I want this what? very bad. This is a Lakitu clock, which is also an alarm clock. Um, brilliantly designed, obviously for your desk, but I love the fact that they're using the the light as a way of showing the time off. Right. Um, but yeah, that's so cool. I want that so bad. It's so well sculpted. It's decent size. It's really so cool. what's how, what's the functionality for the alarm clock, or like that, what's the motion there? I don't. I think it makes a noise. But I don't know. Well, because I'm assuming that like there's a lifting action involved there. Oh no, sure. there's not. It's just a still thing. Oh. You, you want him to lift it up and, like, swing it and hit you in the head to wake you up? Well, I don't, I don't know. I was just, like, <laughs> assuming that, like, you needed to, like, help him lift it to turn the alarm off or something like that. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah I don't know. I think it's just mostly it's a it's a decorative clock, but I think it just looks really neat. That's cute. In the same line of Mario Kart merch, we've got some glasses. I think they might actually be plastic, but I'm not sure. But yeah, just probably. Various they kind of cool look little... like they are. Yeah, but just some. You got the items that spin all the way around the one. We got Mario and just this really. Look cool at Yoshi. Artwork. He's really yeah. going. For yeah, it. yeah. Yoshi is. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening with him. That's. He's, oh, I, I identify strongly with that. <laughs> that is very much so my 2019 mood. <laughs> uh, then we got these coasters for your new plastic Manners. cups. I really like. Uh, hold on, I'll go back. So you got one of the coasters is like a top down of Mario. Mm -hmm. and then they're putting the thwomp on top of him to crush him. Mm -hmm. But that's just a cool little coaster. Um, these are maybe my favorite. They're oh, yeah. <laughs> banana peel slippers. My God. Very, I... very appealing. <laughs> oh, that's it. I knew I'd regret having you on this. Oh, <laughs> banana. <laughs> they're not going to get that reference until July, Dan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a little uh, future throwback spoiler for you. <laughs> Um, but then also they've got this little Thwomp mug here. It's kind of a cute little mug. Um, but yeah, so this is like a line of Mario Kart 8 merch that they released somewhat recently. And it just looks so cool. It's all really good. High quality. So uh, we're going to move on, though, to the next items. Uh, this is another one made by the same people. It's an alarm clock, but it's Isabel sitting on a log. 
And huh. I, th- I think you might actually push Isabel down to stop the alarm. Like huh. tap her on the head and that stops the alarm. That would be my mm-hmm. guess. Um, yeah, I'll have to add good. that to my riddles. What can be dropped, burned, written, and sat on by Isabel? <laughs> uh, this is amazing. Wow, wow. Yeah, the fact that this exists is incredible. It is an official Brewster from Animal Crossing uh, coffee pot and mug. It's got even. It's even got like a recipe or something on the side there, or it's a, the heat or something, or maybe that's the what is how this? much. Is this like a? Uh, this a uh, what's it called? Coffee pot. Oh, gravity filter. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Coffee so, pot. I think you would still need to have your own like device that heats it up, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, you just pour some hot water in there and then just let it drip. Drip coffee is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, we can make it hot or cold. But just when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God. Like, the fact that that exists is kind of incredible. This makes me very – like, <clears throat> I feel like he puts out a very competing vibe to, like, Starbucks. Yeah. So this makes me kind of bummed that there's not a Brewster Cafe that I can go to. <laughs> well, maybe in Super Nintendo World at some point. <laughs> oh, God, please. I really like this. It's a little coin purse, sort of a bag with um, Judd from Splatoon 2. His little <laughs> – design this, there no <laughs> no this one's just weird <laughs> what the <laughs> hell this is just disembodied they, they and snapped not his right. chest off and mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but I, I don't know i like that design <laughs> um now we're talking this is a real life apron you can get for uh tom nook shop but it's actually timmy and tommy so this is very modern this is because it's got the two leaves instead of the one um, the so, uh, <clears throat> the old Nook store theme is making quite a comeback. I'm happy about that. I like that design. Yeah, that's been getting memed uh, memed fairly hard. Really? Recently. Okay. Yeah. That... Oh. <laughs> What's the meme? Bum, bum, bum. I, it's just used as like thinking music or like ironic thinking music. Okay. Okay. But yeah, if you wanted to cosplay as your favorite uh, underage children working for their uncle, then there you go. Hey, I do. <laughs> do you think easier. that? <clears throat> do you think that uh, Nook and and Rusty know each other from R- Rusty's Real Deal Baseball? Uh huh. I feel like they'd like hang out. I feel like they yeah. get together like monthly. Yeah, because they're both they're both uh, running their own businesses. They're entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. They sit and gripe about the kids. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, great. this is really neat. It's the obviously it's from Splatoon, and it's your ink canister that they would be wearing on their back. And I'm a little sort of... bummed. That, are you as bummed as I am that it's full all the way? <laughs> well, stay tuned. Oh, yeah, this is more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, this is really neat. I just think it's like a cool. It's like a novelty type thing, but it's also not so obvious to people that don't know what it is. To where it could also kind of just work as a bag. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just like it. And I like the shape of it, too. It's like it's like the type of thing you'd pull a tent out of. <laughs> these, Dan, maybe you can help me with this. I like the look of them, but I have no clue what these things are. They're in, look in the bottom right. There's yeah. so, there's like a pop socket for your... How is it a pop socket, though? You, you dangle it. Well, I mean, I guess you've got to have a relevant case with an anchor on it. Yeah, I was going to say. loop it into your phone, usually. That was my guess, that it would be you tie the little the little. Which band. is a pretty big flaw, don't you think? What? That phones don't, like, have an anchor spot for, like, little danglies, like, by default, most yeah, often. Let's see, does mine? No, mine does not. They try to make phones very, like, sleek and small and thin, so maybe that's... Yeah, but, I- like... W- I don't know. Or I guess they just expect you to be putting it in a case. I don't know. It just feels like a missed opportunity to me. Like, it's not hard to just, like, put one little thinger in there, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've never used a case on my phone and I've never really had any problems. <laughs> me either. Uh, which one of these would you say is the best? Timmy and Tommy. You get two holes for the price of one. Yeah. I mean, come on. Actually, I think I would probably want uh, KK Slider. That's a cool one. Anything but Isabel. Is that Olivia? Uh, no, I think that is Rosie. Rosie. Yeah. Oh, is Olivia the, the hyper cute one? With Olivia like, is the, the one with all the makeup, I think. Really? Yeah. I wonder if I'm right on that. I'd be very proud of myself for identifying that. But yeah, those are just little things I thought were cute. Um, 
This is actually one of the few American items on the list here. This is from World of Nintendo, and it's a real-life plastic traveler's bow and arrow from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, and I just thought it was so cute that it's like, you know, a plastic version of the thing from the game. Mm. I've never seen or heard of this before, but it just, you know, cool little bit of merch there. Mm. Uh, so this is cute. Also, by the way, a lot of this stuff on eBay is crazy expensive. This one in particular... I, it was like over $100 because... Looks it's, about right. <laughs> it's from the Kirby Cafe in Japan. So I guess maybe it's kind of rare. You know there's like a cafe for Kirby in Japan, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So this if comes I, if, from Well, that. I mean, if I went strolling up to that bad boy, I'd be preemptively thumbing through quite a few bills getting ready. <laughs> yeah, there's some really cool Kirby merchandise from there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. How would you drink out of it? Oh, no. His hat It's a off. lid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's actually cooler than I even thought it was. <laughs> I want it, but I don't want. I'd pin, <laughs> spend like twenty dollars on that, not a hundred and twenty. Uh, okay, this is incredible. I love this thing. In fact, I'll show you this view instead. It's a tissue box of Kirby and a little Waddle D, and you put your tissues, and they come out of the top of it. Look but, how cute that is. I have an is I have an issue with tissue boxes that don't. Like acknowledge the tissue. It's like what's oh, going on. In the... You're sad that they're not like, oh, it's a tissue. Yeah, or it's something. They're just like do 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 do, and it's like bam, tissue. Oh, by no. the way, tissue. Is it possible like, right that in the middle the of their little D, world? Is it possible the Waddle Dee is supposed to be covered up with the tissue because he's like mm -mm. laying down and sleeping? Mm -mm. <laughs> You're not gonna give him that. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, well, I love this, and I I think this is incredible. I love also weird just crap. the concept of tissue boxes weirds me out. <laughs> Well, the concept of tissues is weird. Why wouldn't you just use toilet paper? I guess. Well, because it's a little bit easier to uh, yank, like, a single yeah, thing. But with toilet paper, you could decide how much you want, whereas the tissue, you don't. Yeah, I guess you could go for the double or triple grab, though. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the bit block where all we right, discuss... All right, you, all right, you guys, we're, we're done. You guys talk for a while. <laughs> Here's a Kirby... Uh, what would you call these things again? I don't know, a little whirly bird drone. <laughs> yeah, a drone. Helicopter. So it's not remote control. It's just you turn it on and then you put your hand under it and that like kind of controls Ugh, it. Same. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that. It's kind of cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so these are she and melted DK. What did you do? Who would want me to buy that? Oh my god, I can just imagine how different all the like just imagining a pile of those in the store, all of them would look so messed up in different ways. Oh so these are some of the original plushies from Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo, so they are quite old. Um, oh, okay, they're they're super... I was going to say, like, why do they look like weird <laughs> carnival fries? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Diddy Kong, I think, looks fine. I'm not, like... Yeah, that's Diddy's whatever. fine, DK is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's something else. Um, but yeah, these are from Japan, and they're from the 90s, and I was just like, oh my god. I first saw Diddy Kong, and I was like, okay, you know, fine. Next and time then... you show me something like this, say, Dan, <laughs> what out! And then I'll be somewhat ready. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Um, I want to buy this, next, Dan. Next. I already this know is, why you want this. This next. is a birthday next. present material. Just throwing next. it out there. Next thing, I don't want to talk about it. Gross. <laughs> no, this Chief, is... Dead Master Chief, is that the... No, it's from Metroid Other M, which is the like one of the crappiest Chief. Metroid games. Oh my god. Yeah, but anyways, I want that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. What's is that a short hair iteration? What's going on there? In Metroid Other M, she had shorter hair at one point. You can swap the heads out on this uh, figure. Huh. It's just a cool figure. I want. It. I've never seen that. In my life. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> this is a Kirby soap dispenser, as we all need. Obviously, look at that. He's he's all excited to get pumped. <laughs> oh, and you know what guy isn't? Am I right? Ah! <laughs> um, I like the use of pastel for his eyes. I think that's kind of cool. Instead of like, you know, the solid black. 
Just like a. Well, well, yeah, what happened there? I think it's just they're stylizing it a bit more, softening the design for soap. They just ran out of magenta and. <laughs> they ran out of the black. They didn't have any more black ink in the cartridge. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, this is a weird one. I just wanted to include it because I think it's neat the way it's a mirror and you like you flip it around. Mm. But I like the fact that it's made out of this fancy fabric and it's all, you know, whatever that technique is called, stitched. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the other Splatoon bottle. And you were saying you wish that it wasn't totally full. Well, mm -hmm. you can insert your own beverage and drink out of it and it'll show you that way because it's a clear plastic thing. Got the little zipper. So you can put your alcohol in what? here, Dan. You can be a drunk Why inkling. Why is it all... Just so there's just something orange in it? They have an orange-colored drink inside of the one on the right. What is in there? Shampoo? It looks like <laughs> shampoo. What is it? What's in there? Well, that's what it is. That's what inklings drink. It looks keep... like the latest Pantene Pro-V <laughs> ultra-fortifying formula. Well, there's a lot of weird drinks in Japan and those, like, uh, machines all over the place, so... Yeah. Lord knows. Now, okay... Now that this is like, oh man, I'm this brought the. Did we talk about this on record before? Whining about how like they haven't made the uh, Pikmin juice containers. Uh, not on record, but we've talked about this in private, and yeah, we're yeah, both. Let's um, touch on that of how perfect those little Pikmin juice holders would be for. Yeah. God. Well, I so said I, I I really wish Gatorade would have done a deal with Nintendo when Pikmin 3 came out for it. It would have been great. Yeah. Wow, that would have been amazing. I also want to throw it out there how bad I would want Nano Colas to be packaged. What's a like Nano Cola? The Overwatch thing. <laughs> well, that you might have a chance with because they did make real life cereal of that. So. Yeah, I activated my Lucio O's promotion code. <laughs> Step to me. <laughs> This is, what am I uh, looking at here? This is one of the bombs from Splatoon 2. This is DJ 2. Roomba? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. You didn't use those in Splatoon? Mm -mm. Those little remote... Maybe they weren't in the original one. Uh, but yeah, it's like a real-life version of the little splat bomb thing. Um, mm. I thought it was a Roomba that would vacuum, but I think it just moves around. But it's such a weird thing. It's like a real-life version of the thing in the game, so I thought that was cute. <coughs> cool. This is a skateboard. Next, this next, is a skateboard of Zero Suit skateboard. Samus. You're not a skateboarder, Ness. I am going I to turn into one. I can be a skateboarder if I want to be. No, 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 no. All right, fine. What's that? Is that Japanese on top? It is. I think it says Metroid. Oh, wait, so, me, 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 Metroid. Yeah, maybe it does say Metroid. So this is... um. <coughs> next! God, what... <laughs> These are some yeah. murky waters we're in here, <laughs> bud. What you... It's got 3D butt cheeks for Stop. resting your wrist on. Stop! <laughs> Actually, I gotta be honest with you. I don't like this for two reasons. One, she's got a really basic anime-looking face. I don't like that. Two, uh, she's got the arms of a man. <laughs> I don't really know what was going was on there. I just touch on that. I'm like, how are those delts hitting you? <laughs> yeah. So a lot There's of the... delts and quads doing for I you mean, there, th Bucko. This almost did it for me because, you know, but then, you know. Anyways, uh, okay, brace yourself. Oh, uh, for the next one. Oh the, no, this is the the head pillow with Kirby. Yeah, oh, you've them. seen this when Kirby eats. Did yeah. I show you this? Yeah. Oh, take those little Asian girl powers, Kirby. <laughs> Suck her down. Those are your powers now. I, I mean, why do they have all this? What's all the candy? For? I don't know. Yeah, I'm guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like they just got candy in front of him here. Is it huh. like he's gonna suck down the candy? I don't know what that's about. Is this um, the? But I did find some more pictures of this that I really liked. Oh, um, and wouldn't you know it, my third mood. There right you go. There. They're just all resting in the office with Kirby pillows. They're sticking their head in Kirby's mouth. This is actually how Kirby um, reproduces. <laughs> the thing that bothers me the most is in these photos, nobody seems to be taking it lightly. They're all taking it <laughs> serious. Like, oh, I got to take a break. Okay, here's my Kirby pillow. <laughs> you think this would be cozy? I mean... I feel like it would be, because it's like a little fort for your head. Yeah, I mean, I usually sleep with the pillow over my head at some point. Really? Uh-huh. Well, then this is a birthday present for you waiting to happen. Yeah. Oh, God. <coughs> uh, you I have a missed opportunity to not have pillows that go the other way. I mean, I guess it's cute that Kirby's eating you, but it'd be cute to like just have something you could stick in, your head in that looked like your head then. You know what I mean? Oh. Why are you taking a nap? Yeah, well, I think the joke here is Kirby eats things. Yeah. Um, these are pretty basic, but I really like them. I like the fact that it's a little what, Kirby. 
What are, what are they, little Kirby bath bombs? What's going on here? I think they're just figurines. Maybe there's something beyond that. But it, I think it's just little figurines of Kirby and these little plastic things. But now that you see bath bombs, maybe they are something else. I, they, look, they look like it, right? Like, they look like some sort oh, of... soap or something. Yeah, because why yeah. else would it be in these little dishes? So this might be Kirby's... Also, the printing on him looks like it would be better if it was a figurine. Mm -hmm. So those might be soaps. Now I want them even more! <laughs> this is a man... For some reason in Japan, one of the common things seems to be hand towels. Little mini hand towels of Nintendo characters. They're hand all... towels large enough to dry off only one hand. <laughs> one finger. These are finger towels. Um, but yeah, they are quite Brewster small. Brewster one. Look at the Brewster one. Yeah, bottom left is yeah. good. A little Brewster. He's got his coffee beans. Uh, oh, I, what a cozy I, boy, man. I, don't I want like him to the brew me a one. proper cafe coffee. <laughs> My favorites would be... Uh, I like the top right one the most. Just mm -hmm. the colors. And it's got like that classic Tanuki Tom Nook shop. Mm -hmm. um, My least favorite is the bottom right. It just reminds me of like Happy Home Designer or something. Yeah. Nook's Homes. I wish Nook would go back to... Or Monsters, shop. Inc. <laughs> Um, okay, so <laughs> these are incredibly weird and derpy, but for some reason, I mildly like these things. Yeah, these are the probably some of the earliest, if not the earliest uh, Mario Kart themed plush. Mm -hmm. They are from Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo back from the 90s. They're Japanese. Um, what I like about them, though, is they actually have little carts. They're a plushie baked into the cart so you could wheel them around. And Lakitu's little um, sign here actually lights up when you press yeah. the button. Probably makes noise as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought those were really neat Mario Kart plushies. Um, I, I, for some reason, I imagine Lakitu's thing just playing It's a Small World After All music <laughs> along with the lights going on because it's some sort of like freaking bootleg. <laughs> light they do the look bootleg, yeah, but they're, they're official. From like a major company. Okay, so I saved this one because I really want this thing. Uh, this was three hundred dollars on eBay. <laughs> and just make your own. What's I, the no, point? I know I'm not buying it. I'm just saying like Ugh. it's cool. No, because... every, to every, that was a you plural. Just anybody <laughs> that wants this, just make one. Uh -huh. it. It's neat though because this is again one of the earliest Animal Crossing bits of merchandise. It's from the N64 game, mm -hmm. so it's kind of cool because of that. It's so weird to look at the characters in their old little stubby forms. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this is also amazing. This is an early Mario Kart item. It's a small boy on an inflatable Mario Kart. It looks nothing like the carts from the game. Where did that company find so many little boys to sell? <laughs> Josh? <laughs> He's only well, two years old, it says there at the bottom. Weighs 20 kilograms. Where'd they find so many <laughs> two-year-old 20-kilogram boys? I, these are questions that I don't have answers to, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, Why are you just now being honest with me? <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, that Anyways. Was, so these are just cool. Oh, baby. I like You don't this. have that already? No, I really, really want a plush of him. Or an ami they didn't make an amiibo of him either. But uh, Gulliver is my favorite. I want him bad. Okay, so wait. We got to go to this. So maybe you can tell me what these are. So this is the packaging of cards. And it's so cool. Look at how great this style is. Look at Wisp. The way he's just like that outline and stuff. Mm -hmm. Great use of color. Is, is the GameCube the last time Wisp even showed up? Wisp is in City Folk. And I believe Wisp, Wisp is also in New Leaf. But he doesn't... <clears throat> he does something stupid in New Leaf. Yeah, it's yeah. to do with the amiibo cards. Oh, God! Yeah, he's not cool. He's just got the amiibo card. And I'll give you oh, stuff. It upsets me to an <laughs> infinite degree. You're going to take a cute little ghosty blob and that yeah. used to do something really cool, and you'd meet him at midnight, and you'd, like, randomly bump into him, and then yeah, you're just going to get rid of all that whimsy and make him the new fucking Digby. <laughs> cool. He's, cool. Sh he's shilling paper cards now. That's what I liked about it. That's what I liked about the mystery <laughs> little ghost wisp. I liked that he just sat in his little spot and read amiibo cards all day. That's why I <laughs> well, like the ghost character. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in a magic lamp for some reason. God! <laughs> and, and you rub the magic lamp and he comes out of it every time. So he's not mysterious anymore. He's just always there. Um... 
But look at the uh, artwork on these like cards. Up there. Look at Zipper T bunny up there. Yeah, he's terrifying. Hey. I really hey. like these, though, because it's artwork that we've never seen before. It's not like the typical, you know, we've seen these renders a lot. It's just, like, made just for these cards. Uh -huh. They're really good. That's what I think Craftsman looks like. Um, Rossetti's brother, what was his name? Don. Yeah. Don Rossetti. <laughs> That's what Craftsman looks like. I hope so. Well, look at the one of Nat. I really like Nat's card. <laughs> <laughs> look at oh by the way look at chip he's eating the fish alive with its face just under look at that that's kind of uh -huh. terrifying yeah oh ooh, look at the the smoke from the coffee on brewsters there oh, killing it yeah <laughs> there's some uh a deal going down there with crazy yeah guys. what's up here i don't know he's he's questioning whether or not his merchandise is real i think yeah i think he's laughing because yeah he yeah yeah ripped him off uh-huh yeah that's um devious <laughs> Why is there a... Oh, it's the pickle. His song about pickles yeah. and... That's funny. So apparently in Japanese, it's referencing pickles too. Mm -hmm. There's kicks over on the side. With well, I, all cap is like cucumbers. Oh. I think. This is one I think we can appreciate right here. Wow. Look at... They even put little pumpkin decorations yeah, in there. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to direct the spotlight there. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I want these cards. They're not even that expensive. And they're also made out of a pretty thick cardboard. Wait a minute. What? What's going on with the with kate uh this one right here mm, oh is that her mom then no, that's her right here is, it, is that what her mom likes though down with the to the right is her mom always oh, have yeah, lipstick that's, on like that? that's her mom yeah yeah oh, geez i don't even recognize her oh and it looks like they go together like there's they you put them next Ugh, to pave is such a dirty pervert <laughs> i was just gonna say i relate to pave <laughs> I miss Katrina. She's she's in there. She comes and uh, Katrina's great in New Leaf. She visits just the way she always used to with her tent oh. and hmm. yeah. I like she still she's stayed pure unlike a lot of the other characters. Oh, I feel like I didn't catch her enough. Hmm. Uh, Gulliver is pure. They fixed Gulliver. I hated when they made him a, a space alien. What? Why? <laughs> but uh yeah those cards are great. i love how at nintendo you can just open your mouth and just start riffing and then it's canon and then it's in the game oh wait no the bird that's a skipper uh make him an alien now and no one says <laughs> what they write it down and then make it yeah i think these came out around the uh the time these are before new leaf um because gulliver on the right there is in fact a space alien uh, so yeah, these are. Oh, and also she's in the uh, in the fountain in New Leaf. This bottom right character here. Mm. You throw the axe in. I hated her. Um, Why? She never gives you what you want. Uh. But yeah, these are just so cool. They come in this box and everything. <coughs> What's that otter's name? Is that Oswald? Uh, name? Phineas. This guy that gives you the balloons. Uh, no, the other one. Oh, Pascal. Yeah, here we go, Pascal. Yeah. Oh, look at the one, look at the little drawing they did for Wendell. That's fantastic. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, Pas Pascal's great. I love all the things he says. He rules. <laughs> I like his colors. Good colors. Who I the think. hell? Wait, who the, who's under Joan? What is that? Where's Joan at? Oh, that's, uh, that's Blathers. Oh, Blathers. God, he looked way more deranged <laughs> when he was zoomed out. <clears throat> um... So these are cool. I think these are something that would have been at Mitsuwa. Um, but these mm. are Mario Kart 7 figures. But I like them because they're just really well done. I like the poses. I really like Wiggler. I want a Wiggler figure so bad. That's my favorite Mario character. Look at Yoshi with a cone on his ass. <laughs> a lot of them are... Bowser's crushing cans, you know, the type of thing you'd expect from what do you, a Mario Kart. Hang on, what do you think the implication for Yoshi is? Do you think that he did that and he's, like, presenting his hard work, or that you think that was, like, an accident? That he's I just think not the... Do you want a funny answer or the real answer? Both. I think the real answer is the cone looks like his tail, so he the cone is on his tail, so it looks like his <clears> tail. Um, the, the actual reason is he wants somebody to come up behind him and uh, stick something up his butt, Dan. Is that what you're trying to get at? With mm -mm. your filthy mind? Oh. Yeah, right. Come on. Um, yeah, but look, they come in these little little, cube, little cubes. No, that's not a cube. They come in these containers. Look at Yoshi's butt right there. They break in half. Oh, God. Um, it's right? like what you do with these little figures when they're deceased. <laughs> Coffins. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Wario. <laughs> Wario is busted. Oh, God, look at Bowser. Oh, oh God. Oh, Bowser's really broken to pieces. Mm -hmm. um, but I like these a lot. I want them. 
And uh, I think we're coming close to the end. Well, we already saw that. Uh, yeah. This is the last thing. These are just little like baggies, little like Ziploc bags of Animal Crossing themes. Mm. Well, you put your makeup in there, Dan, or your pencils, or dead bodies if you want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the like, Able Sisters one. That's cute. I keep forgetting there's three Able Sisters because I hate the other one. The one that went off to the city, LaBelle. Able, Sable, and Mabel? Yeah, and then LaBelle is in there as well. I think her name is LaBelle. Right? Abel, Sable. No. There is no Sable. Wait, no. There's no Abel. The Abel sisters. Abel is referring to their last name. Mabel, Sable, Label? Mabel, Sable. I thought one of them was called LaBelle. I thought I was outraged by that because I was like, oh, they didn't even keep the tradition of rhyming their names. Yeah. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, that's... Uh... So, guys, thanks for watching. That was me and Dan hanging out and just looking at some cool Nintendo merch. Um... There is so much of it that I didn't even include here, obviously. Uh, but this was just stuff that I found today. Some of it I really want. Some of it was just for meme-related purposes. Like the, uh, the, the Donkey Kong plush. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Dan? Do you, yeah, uh, do you thanks, want to... uh, thanks for checking this video out, guys. You can follow me at LamarWilson at Twitter.com. <laughs> uh, this weekend I'm doing a big podcast with Etika. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. <laughs> God. Um, let's play some Sea of Thieves, Dan. Okay. We gotta we gotta do stuff in there. Bye, guys.